everyone welcome back and join me into the island tour using the x cup uh cup crafters so we're gonna go around the island it's not a big island so there will be uh, probably quick and also there are not many tourist uh, attraction here mostly natural wonders so and unfortunately the runway is still uh, not very good so we're gonna have a bumpy uh, take off and probably landing again but that okay so let's go ahead and Yes, very bumpy. Come on, let's go. I don't want to be too long in this runway. Okay, so we'll take off. So pull out the. Uh Tamaduste, I think that's the city. One of not not city town, I guess. City is a big one, so it's more morely a bit of town. And as you can see, uh, the detail textures is good, but here is probably not much to see. So we kind of like. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna climb a bit and trying to gain some altitude. It, it's a bit shadow in, in this part of the island because it's afternoon, late afternoon. It's almost sunset. Gonna climb a bit for around 1,500 feet or 2,000. So mostly a cliff area here in El Hierro, you can see even that housing was actually on top of the cliff. So we are, I think, around a, a Kedo and we are going down uh, toward the southern area. So this is the uh, western part of the island. Uh, I think there are several area well known like the Frontera that's where the what do you call it uh, area where it's mostly the frontier I guess in English I hope if I'm not mistaken and also we're gonna see some Faro the Orquila that's the tip of the island and with the uh, kind of a uh, lighthouse in it so not much to see. Uh, the texture, as as usual from Island Creation, is good. Detailed textures, but not as interesting from the other islands. So this must be much more quick review. I think it's just yeah. So there will be some settlement over there, and some playa, I guess, the beaches over there. Uh, it's quite basic right now in terms of the island. There will be some high cliff over there. You can see that. now toward Las Puntas if not mistaken there will be probably some settlement also over there uh, Risco de Tavetai uh, Ibajate Playa Carco Los Sargos Playa La Maceta I think that's the playa over there 
And there's some uh, people living in that area. I guess that's a village or a small town. Small. Um, okay, so we kind of. This is probably like a high cliff, like Los Gigantos kind of things, but. Yeah, it's less well known, I guess. It's mostly natural here, Le less hectic compared to Tenerife, which is much more. Uh, there's some, you know, nightlife over there. Here are mostly natural. I'm using the Premium Plus version though, but seems to be yeah not as high end as the other, but should be okay. I mean for 2,000 above, I think you should be pretty good. See this, uh, we are at 2,400. So pretty decent. There is a high cliff area over there. I think Las Puntas over there in Pumsnegan. Yeah, we are entering the Las Puntas area. Several beach uh, down there, I guess. Yeah, it's uh, it's less interesting than the others. I'm not sure if you want to use this or buy this for some interesting VFR, but. If you want to add your collection to the Canary Island uh, from Island Creation, I guess go ahead. I mean, you, you won't be pretty disappointed, I guess. But yeah, compared to the others, this is much more like so-so area. I, I know in the real life, it's basically very, very nice, very beautiful, natural. And actually, there are a lot of like they call it uh, azul, like a pond, like a pool of water, uh, ocean, uh, like sea water probably that you can swim, like a well, like a natural swimming pool basically. El Tamadu Stay, I think that's near the town, right? There is uh, the mountain called is. Pico de Malpaso, that they think the, the highest uh, mountain peak. That's Pico Malpaso over there, I think. Somewhere here, I guess. Yep. At Pico Malpaso, probably, and. Three uh, over there, yes. Yeah. So that is Pico Malpaso up, up there. Uh, but that's it and and we are let's see where is the Paro de Orquila I think that's already in the next turn so when we turn we're gonna cross uh, Arena Blancas, El Hierro Sabinar up there uh, Mirador de Lomo Negro over there overlooking to the south okay we are too close to the ground and there's Playa del Lodal uh, down there. Okay, so then we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna take a look at Faro de Orquila. Kind of trying to get away from the tip of the island here. So what is the? So we are now entering the tip of the island here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy. Very windy, actually. It's very strong wind. You can hear the wind. Even the ocean, you can see the waves. It's quite uh, prominent. Means that it was quite a strong wind. 
Yeah, we are now in the northern tip of the island, so there's a car down there. So we are looking for Faro de Orquila, I think it's somewhere over there. So the textures and uh, from 2000, um, like 2000 to 500, I think it's excellent. But down below, I think you're gonna see some uh, pixelated uh, textures basically. But from here, you can see sector we are at around 2500 1500 so it's okay so there it goes so i think that's faro the orquila you see that lighthouse over there yeah we probably gonna take a look closer see if we can get close to that uh lighthouse So this one is the southern, uh, sorry, western tip of the island, the most western tip of the island. And by the way, it's called Meridian Island, as I mentioned, because it's being used as Meridian. I think it's in the era of Columbus, I guess. So that is Faro de Orquila, famous lighthouse in the western part of the this island, the most western part of the island. And I think this texture here is quite high resolutions as you can see. And there's a lot of texture down there you can see. And we can take a look a bit closer now to the lighthouse. We can try to fly past the lighthouse from here see if we can get very close but it's very dangerous I know with the wind okay there's Faro de Orquila as you can see very interesting uh, landmark over there. The rest, I think, is quite ordinary. You can see this a uh, brown uh, area, brown color area. It's a very secluded beach. I can imagine if it's in real life, you will visit this hiking or biking, going around the island. Very, very interesting adventures can imagine that and uh, but this is quite the thing is not safe if going here it's very high cliff area but I think you can try to walk along the beach I think there's a rocky beach or a black sand beach over there if the wind is not too strong I guess you can do that I don't know I think so. I think you can walk along the beach, I guess, southern pit. I think it's around 15 kilometers or something. Or, I don't know. Yeah, it took a day, I guess, to go back and from the airport area. Uh, what's the capital city here? Uh, I think it will be... I'm not sure what is the capital city though, but uh, forget uh, which one is. Uh, uh, why don't we go up? So we're gonna climb up the mountain. So we're gonna a bit of trying to see what's up there. Be very interesting. So we kind of climb toward the sea first, and then turn back when we already reach uh, three thousand something. I think it was around 3,000 for that. Wow. Very sensitive.
So the capital city is Valverde. Valverde, I think, if that mistaken, is around. Oh, that's near our city, our airport actually, near the airport, the Valverde. So we might take a look at Valverde, but now we are trying to climb into uh, Pico Malpaso. If we can climb further toward mountainous area over there in uh, yep. as you can see here that is the tip of the mountain at El Hierro Pico Malpaso we can take a look from there up there what's to look like uh, looking downward you have to be careful the round wind was very strong so can you like tip you over if you're not careful so down there is the lighthouse as we pass oh come on Gonna stall. Whoa. Careful. Very windy. Yeah, so that Pico Malpaso over there, I think. The high ones has a road down there. That is very nice view from up here. Seeing down there. Also look overlooking that cliff area over there. Wow, that's very beautiful. You can see. Going outside. That's very beautiful. I think the peak of this Pico El Malpaso is Pico Malpaso is I think around what five thousand feet? Uh, I think around that. Yeah, I think it's around five thousand feet. We can already in top of the mountain here. It's already a moon, because it's going to sunset soon. Because that's very beautiful view on our left side over there. Wow, 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 wow. Come on, come on. Careful. Very difficult to see in that kind of plane, you know. And uh, it's a bit tough. Let's let's activate the pitch and hold to see around. So that is a nice view over there. We're looking that way also, very beautiful. Wow, that's very beautiful from up here. I think we can try to level off. Yep. Uh, it's very beautiful view from up here. That's Pico El Malpaso. And that is the tip of the western tip of the El Hierro. Okay. 
so that's it guys i think that's uh most of it uh we're going to go back now to oh, we are already too high uh okay let's turn off and we're going down a bit like it's already a lot of cloud okay so we are at la restinga i think that is the tip not the southern tip of hell hero our airport i think is around up to the north see if we can shortcut a bit here yep that is uh, Tenerife over there and La Gomera so we going to descend into around 2000 Toward the ocean back, uh, back to the ocean or the seaside of the El Hero. I think we are already past La Restinga and then we are almost uh, going to Tabiku, Tabiku and uh, Playa de las Colosas over there, I think. Yep. Very windy. And yeah, so there is uh, La Restinga, I think, in the tip of the island over there on the right. It's a very uh, beautiful uh, terrain down there. Whoa, there's a very high cliff from here. Whoa. There's a house in the tip of the cliff. What is that? Oops, sorry. I think we are over speeding. Uh, I didn't watch the airspeed. I think we overspeed. So in front of us there is a runway, I guess. There's several area here. Yeah. Las Casas, Tabiku, I guess over there. Uh, I think that's it. It's probably take you 30 minutes around the island. A quick tour, and I think should be sufficient because it's yeah, mostly natural wonder here, and yeah, not much to see. There's several playa down there, I guess. I assume. So here the Valverde is the capital of El Hero, it's really in the top of the mountain here I guess if not mistaken, rather than near the port or something, I think it's more uh, up the hill. Okay, so we are already too low, so I think we are... And speed up a bit and trying to maintain around 1500 something and we directly going to pass like Kimi Jacqui Puerto de la Estaca I think around there yeah along this uh, part of the island not much to, to see, I guess, uh, but should be okay. And un 
I think we are going to land behind shade of the mount mountain so it kind of like a bit dark yeah like this one is Timmy Draqui the left of side of us Puerto de la Estaca over there Yeah, Puerto de la Estaca here. So there is a port uh, close by. And reservoir here. The uh, water is very difficult here. I, they said. Yeah, so. There is a small cruise ship over there. Dock in the port. Not small, I think it's quite big. <laughs> Very interesting uh, kind of like uh, object over there. Yeah, Puerto de la Estaca. I think we are a bit too high. I'm gonna try to land. Where is the runway? After Puerto de la Estaca. Okay, so I think we're close to the runway now. And as for the airport, Hero. The Aero Tower Canary, 4002 miles south, 1300 feet to land. Canary 400 Aero Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 7 when 347 and 20. Fly straight in runway 34. Canary 400 and 347 at 20. Clear to land runway 34. Clear to land runway 34 Canary 400. Okay, we're gonna turn around first. We kind of like, uh to move away from the, uh, the airport so we can have more space uh, and here yep okay that's the runway so we are already quite low trying to It's gonna be bumpy la landing again because this uh, runway is not straight, not smooth. But yeah, I don't want to go back and edit the file again. I think I missed the config file again, uh, so but I don't want to go back out and. Too low, but uh, fine. Oops, oops, 
Wow. <laughs> Very bad ending. <laughs> this is a very interesting uh, runway, you know, it's very undulating and oops, I was to the right. Uh, that's probably not good, guys. <laughs> Don't follow my leads in this one. How do this parking area works? To be occupied? supposed to take uh, the different entrance here each of them as uh, each of the terminal actually not not a taxiway so there's no taxiway here and the plane is just parked like that you know very it's very kind of odd <laughs> and you see the as you see the taxi the apron area is very undulated You can try to park over here. Yep, that's the guy. That's our marshal over there. Very interesting. Uh, this is like a joke, you know? It's like uphill. <laughs> okay. Whew. That was not interesting. I mean, the apron is really like bad. I think like this one is like uphill. You see that? <laughs> so the depression on the on the elevations. And that's it, guys. So that's uh, El Hierro in a short kind of tour. Nothing much to see, and I think uh, we're gonna do much more interesting uh, kind of tour uh, later. So yep. Thing we done uh, and see you on the next journey on the island hopping at canary island <music>